what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today is the final part of the ecu install so if you've seen all my Haltech series installing the ecu into my mark IV supra this is it this is the final part so once i put this dti gauge in only thing i got to do is tune it first things first you take apart your dash so it's just five screws under here i'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly how to do this so after that you just pull it straight forward and then you just start unclipping everything so i just unclip this unclip this first one right here so i got two more to go all right pulling this out is super sketchy feeling so you just have to yank on it from the top and from the bottom so very gently there we go so i'll be doing this again whenever i upgrade my cluster because you know i went to six speed and you know having these little goofy things makes no sense. Should have no issue getting to the clock back here and then installing the gauge. Yeah, forget that. Decided to just pull it out myself. So yeah, connectors are pretty obvious where they go. Um, you got connectors here. Those two right there hook up to here. And then the orange goes orange. And then this uh, black one goes up here to the clock. And then you got the traction control one. This is a 94. Um, so that one's there. Series one, series two uh, might be somewhat different, but yeah. Uh, so here's the clock. So I'm gonna remove this now. Well, this is freaking easy. I love it. So this bracket just goes over, it holds it in place and then just gotta tighten this down. Obviously hook up the connector, run it through, hook it up to the ECU. Wow. So this is where I plugged up the PTI gauge. So it already has a connection. Um, it's set up for Haltech specific connectors. So this connector goes into my wideband controller one. And the reason for that is that my wideband controller one, as I showed before, is routing up to right here. It's routing up via CAN bus signal on the main harness. So the main harness that goes into the ECU goes to this CAN bus signal, which goes to my wideband controller one. That information also gets shared right here to this connector, which is what came with my BTI gauge. And that gets routed all the way up. This is the gray and that gets routed all the way up into the front where my screen is. So it's a little bit of a hot mess. Um, I do got to get a bracket for this. Um, I do want to clean this up. Fortunately, there is a lot a, of harness that came with the BTI as well as the wideband controller. All right. I was able to clean it up just a little bit. Um, still kind of messy. I definitely... Um, in need of a bracket to hold all this down um, if anyone knows of a good company that makes a good product to hold you know the ecu to a mark IV supra or anything like that uh please drop it down in the comments and let me know um, if not i'm gonna have to just make like a custom plate and set it up all right panels back together let's test this thing out and all right This is one of the coolest ones. This looks just like the R34 GTR. I mean, I'm sure the listing's a little bit different, but I mean, this is the same style. Um, you know, back 99 to 2002, the R34 GTR had this screen. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, next screen. So you got Lambda, you got Map PSI, you got your Target Boost, I believe. So uh, I already set up my boost tables real quick. Um, it's currently at 100% duty cycle throughout the whole map. So that's why it's, uh, I think that's why it's showing like crazy high target. That's not real, of course. Yes, more stuff and stuff, and some more stuff. You know, this is, uh, this is probably the coolest one right here. It tells you what happened whenever you hit peak boost. 
So I'm gonna be using this a lot. I'm gonna pay attention to this screen. And then uh, this one's probably gonna be the busiest one. I don't actually see myself using this on the street. It might be way too much information to look at. So, knock. And then uh, this is if you have like a G meter. And then, yeah, I think this is gonna be the number one choice. Uh, we'll see. We'll take a look when I'm driving it if I like this the best. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the series. So, again, stay tuned because I'm going to be tuning on one of these next episodes. So, um, I got a couple other things I want to show you that I just got some uh, parts in the mail shipped out here. So, you know, I want to talk about that. And then I'm going to get right back to the tuning information. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about VE tables, Lambda, targets, ignition timing. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys watching know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have no idea, stay tuned so I can show you. I'll see y'all later.